Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So today it's going to be the three card oracle with the dyadic cross uh, finish, all the same cards. And uh, you're going to like this one. So three card oracle, dyadic cross, let's get into it. So this is the good tarot by Colette Baron Reed. Uh, these are great cards. They come in a really nice box. It's kind of substantial. The guidebook that comes with them is useful. Um, it's, it's, it talks about all the cards. It's got some good ideas for divination, and it's easy to read. So that I like. The cards themselves are nice cards. I mean, they're they're um, they're sturdy. They've got a beautiful back. They're a little glossy. They're kind of biggish, but not um, difficult to use. At least not for me. And uh, you can see again the art on these cards just goes from from right to the edge of the card and there's lots of beautiful stuff here to see. So I do this to kind of mix the cards without damaging them and to give you an opportunity to look at them if you don't look at cards uh, very much. Um, you know, not everybody goes out and buys uh, tarot cards or has a chance to flip through the deck. So that's kind of uh, a little preview of what's in these cards. These are the Taracho uh, not Taracho. These are, as a matter of fact, who puts these out? I have forgotten completely. So, don't know. Hay House. So, not a, a brand that I see very often. But uh, nice cards, and I really love using them. Okay, so, Diet Across, three-card oracle. So, I'll put three out. Now is the time to take a deep breath. Calm your mind. Um, consider uh, what you want um, these cards to answer for you. And uh, we'll go from there. So I love doing these three card spreads because they're so um, um, interesting. And uh, it's amazing to me how many people that they, um, they it works for. So I think the key to the whole thing is your uh, consciousness getting uh, yourself into the right frame of mind so that if there's a message here for you, it will connect with you and give you an idea of, of what cards or cards uh, you should pick. So three card Oracle with a dyadic cross finish. It'll be one, two, and three. And uh, we'll start right now. So one, two, and three. Put these cards here and then you can choose the card that you'd like so we've got one two three one two three remember you can stop the tape take a break and uh, if you haven't uh, already got yourself in the frame of mind to make a decision one two three one two and three so the signifier card for this then is going to be the eight of air that's the eight of swords and that's the the uh, card that uh, typically you see it as someone who is uh, tied up with a bunch of swords all around them. In this case, this uh, angel is trapped on a cloud, and you can see that the um, the swords are represented by these feathers that are falling down. And of course, swords are air and uh, truth and justice. And so this angel is feeling uh, bound, but look, she's got wings, and if she flaps her wings, I think she can realize her own power and float right off of that cloud. And get things done. So the signifier card of this one is feeling trapped, and that's the eight of uh, of air. And so that is um, a um, a no card. And I'm sorry I didn't do that yes no already. I'm gonna do it right now. So that's the no card. If you pick number two, uh, this is the ace of fire. Okay, so this is a big yes card. Aces are, are offers, uh, divine offers of fire or wands. So we're talking about plans, actions, uh, getting things going. So if you pick number two, that's a big yes card. Number one is a no card. If you pick number three, so this is the three of uh, water. Three of water, water is cups, passions, emotions. And uh, the three of cups is um, um, small celebrations around uh, those. Um, so this is a big yes card. 
Okay, so now, sorry about that, we'll pick this up. The signifier of this first iron cross, and there's the eight of air, the eight of swords, feeling trapped, but you have the power to change that. So let's give these a really quick shuffle. Maybe two and a cut. So here's the second one. Cut them. Spread these out and get five cards on here to finish this up. One, two, three, four, and five. Great. Let's put these over here right now and we'll see what is going to be revealed as a challenger to that signifier. Uh, eight of uh, air, eight of swords, feeling kind of trapped. The challenge to that is going to be the king of water. And so water is the passions, the emotions, um, and the king is just uh, all in charge of that. So he's the strongest suit in the, um, in the cup's deck. And I'm interested right here, this almost looks like a fingerprint of some sort. And uh, maybe that'll be significant uh, because I certainly am focused in on it. I almost can't look at anything else. So the uh, eight of swords the challenge to that is the king of water and the king of water is the king of passions so feeling trapped is challenged by really all of these emotions hmm. let's see how this works out the um a base of this reading then is going to be the page of fire uh fire is uh our wands and so wands are uh, planning uh, action movement uh, going forward. The page is the least um, uh, significant, the least strong of the royal court cards in the deck. So this is a messenger of planning. This is uh, the beginnings of getting something done. So in the base of this reading, the page of fire was the beginnings of a plan. In the past of this reading, then, is the six of air. Air are swords. Uh, the six of swords is, is the, you'll see that uh, in the typical deck as a little boat trying to move out of troubled water. And here we have this six of swords um, as it almost looks like this vessel is floating in the sky. But in fact, it's in the water and the sky and the uh, ocean have almost become one. And it almost looks like there's a cliff off of the water here somehow. So the six of uh, swords uh, moving on into something more stable. You can see like this is almost like a waterfall. The Six of Swords has made it uh, past that. It's still on the precipice. So I would say there was a beginning of uh, moving out of an uncomfortable situation. In the sky for this reading then is the Eight of Earth. And so Earth is a pinnacles um, value, could be bunny. And um, the Eight of uh, Earth is uh, getting all of your uh, pinnacles uh, in a row, getting your uh, value practiced to where it's perfect. And uh, this, I guess this is a cello. I had thought it might be a violin originally, um, a few, uh, when I first got this date. But for me, this is a great big cello, eight of uh, pinnacles, really getting your, your act practiced. Okay. So, and then the likely outcome for all of this, and remember, this was kind of a no card, and this is maybe how you can turn it around, is a ten of earth. And so this is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is always kind of like happy uh, family, you know, really making things work uh, for you. And um, it's it's wealth. It could be inheritance, but it's all good. So this uh, Ten of Pentacles, though, is a little reserved uh, to me. So let's go over this again because the message isn't immediately clear to me. Hopefully it's clear to you. So the signifier of this was, was a no answer, and it was a feeling trapped. Uh, the King of Water is telling us with a lot of compassion uh, is what's uh, challenging you and making you feel trapped and not able to move. Uh, the base of this reading was the Page of Fire, which is the Page of Wands. Small idea, uh, perhaps going to come to fruition. The Six of Air, or the Six of Swords, was in the past moving out of a troubled situation. And in the sky, the best you could hope for was to get this practiced and perfect. And then the uh, likely outcome for this can be, yes, actually uh, perfectly wonderful but you've got to put the work in and the trust to get there so if you're not willing to do the work it's a no if you're willing to take your time and and study what you're dealing with then you can turn this around into a great big success okay don't feel like you can't do it because you can the um second card if that's the one you chose is the ace of fire so fire are wands wands are actions plans um a movement forward and um 
the Ace is just the biggest offer of that that's available. So the, the uh, second part of this card is a great big offer, a great big push of getting this uh, this this thing moving, making this plan, making this action work for you. Okay, I'm going to give this one cut, and we'll spread this card, these cards, and uh, pull out five to finish uh, this diet across. Okay, so we've got one, two, three, four, and five. Put these away. And see what we've got here as a challenge to that great big offer of this plan. The challenge to that is a five of water. So water is cups. Uh, the five of cups, gosh, I can't, my mind is blank today, and I'm really using my cheat sheet over here. Oh, yeah. The five of cups is, yeah, that's when, that's typically depicted in the Rider Waite deck is uh, someone standing there with five cups, two or three of them were spilled. He's got a couple left. So the five of, of cups is loss, is uh, a sense of loss, grieving over uh, what you've lost and probably not appreciating uh, what you've got left to keep you going on that journey. And if you look here, <clears throat> outside of this shell, we've got one, two, three, four, five pearls. Some of them are smaller, some of them are larger. And uh, this um, this uh, person living in the shell is off looking uh, looking at, at, at what they've lost, looking for what they have, when in fact it's right here, even within reach. You've just got to bend over, make an effort, and you can continue on with this. So the ace of this big action of plans uh, is dependent on you uh, looking at your emotions and the, um, the passion behind this issue and, and bending over and making a move forward. Uh, the base of this reading is uh, the seven of earth. And the seven of pentacles, is, and earth is pentacles, the seven of pentacles is always wondering, gosh, have I done enough? Is there more that needs to be done? It's a little bit of an indecision. And uh, in this card, I love how contemplative this person is thinking about uh, the seven of of earth and I don't find the seven uh, coins right away there's three here one here and um, so I wonder about have we done enough and uh, that's the key to this the basis of this reading was enough done is there more to do in the past of this reading is the four of waters that's the uh, four of cups and the four of cups is you know sort of um, solitude uh, unrealistic um, boredom, um, you know, something lacking uh, in this Four of Cups. So it's often the the offer that you don't want to take um, that is 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 what you're dealing with. So again, that kind of works uh, with this and this. There's indecision here. There's lots of indecision underpinning this that brought you into this. But you've got a big offer to move forward. Understand what you need is right there. Forget about what you've lost. Bend over, get what you have, and move forward. The sky in this reading is the Empress. And the Empress is the third card in the Major Arcana. And this is the one who's, she's got everything she needs. She's almost like Mother Earth. She's fully fruitful. She can uh, take command of this situation. And she has lots of power on her own. And you are the Empress, whether you're a man or a woman. You are the Empress. You have all the power that you need to move this thing forward. Maybe it's your feminine power that you need to embrace uh, to get you past this. Maybe it's that intuition. It's that knowing. Uh, you just need to trust it. And then the likely outcome of this reading is the Ace of Earth. And that's a great big Ace of Pentacles. It's an Ace of Money, an Ace of Value. This stag knows its worth. It's standing on a big rock on this big pinnacle. And uh, that's how this will come out for you. So it started out as a yes. There's probably some indecision there on your part. You have to have trust in your own intuition. And this will work out really beautifully for you if you could muster all that up. And it will work out anyway in a positive direction. And the more power you put behind it, the better it's going to be. Okay, so that's the second card, if that's what you chose. And then the third card, if that's the one you chose, is the Three of Water. That's the Three of Cups. And, you know, the Three of Cups are always kind of like little celebrations, um, little, oh, I don't know, um, it's healing pleasure, um, it's parties, it's sharing. So the Three of Cups really is a wonderful way. It's a big yes. Or it's, it's a comfortable yes, I would say. So it's a yes, and um, if you don't do anything but ride the wave, uh, this is a yes. So let's see what happens if you put a little more effort into it with this diagonal cross. Okay. I'm going to take three, uh, five out of here. One, two, three, four, and five. Now 
Okay, done with these cards. They've done their work today. And uh, let's see what we can tell. So we've got the three of water as a signifier. There's the three of cups, celebrations. And uh, let's see what the challenge to that is. The challenge to those that three of cups is the another three. That's interesting. So this could be three weeks, three days, three months, three years. I don't know, but there's a three. It could be three people, as a matter of fact. But the three of fire, uh, fire of wands and plans. And these are long-term plans. This is really a voyage that uh, had some thought that went into it. We've got a, a, a directional sort of a weather vane here on this vessel that uh, this uh, person is making this journey on. So the challenge to the, this uh, the smaller celebration is the long-term planning that's involved. So uh, get off your, uh, your duff and uh, don't celebrate this issue so much. Really get the plans in the works and propel this thing forward. The uh, basis of this reading then is the six of water. And so the six uh, water, of course, is cups, passion, emotion. And the six of cups really tells us to um, kind of remember how things were. Um, uh, things There was a time when everything was, was just uh, exactly how you, you liked it to be. Maybe you're remembering a time in your past, looking at your reflection in the wind, in the mirror, and, or in a pond, and saying, oh, look at that, who I am. I wish I was who I was. But, you know, accept uh, what's going on right now and take this three, this six of water. Um, I don't know how I want to do this. Let's do it like that. And, uh, and as the basis of moving things forward, recognize what it was for what it was and what's now is what's now. The uh, past to this reading is the uh, four of earth. So that's the four of pentacles. And that's really, you know, holding on to your worth. One, two, three, four pentacles, holding on to your worth. And uh, sometimes that's like, you can even see this person's hands are, are out and grasped. And so holding on is what got you here, but now it's time to uh, celebrate and plan what's going to happen uh, going forward. The sky of this reading, the hope for this is a nine of water. Oh, well, we got lots of water here. And the um, the uh, nine of cups is, uh, let's see, the nine of cups is, you know, prosperity, uh, fortune, uh, health, uh, gain. You know, it's really an overabundance of everything. So aim for the stars. I mean, really aim for the best that this could possibly be. And, uh, and it's going to come out uh, in your fa in your favor. And the uh, likely outcome for all of this then is the seven of earth. And again, that seven of pentacles uh, just tells you that, um, you know, patience is what gets this thing uh, moving. So we, you have to, finish the journey okay so let's go over it again so three cups celebrations uh three of uh, wands uh long-term plans uh, six of water remembering how things were um and i think we need to move off of that because here on the four of earth we're trying to hold on to what we had and we need to aim for the sky and know that uh with this uh seven of pentacles that um you know don't worry about um you know, if you've done enough uh you have enough Okay, so that's what we've got in this reading today. And I hope, hope, hope that brought some clarity for you today. So that was the three-chord oracle today. If you pick number one, that was kind of a maybe, really, or a no, uh, feeling a little bit trapped. And then um, the number two, of course, was the uh, Ace of Wands, a big plan, a big plan, and it's always good. And then the number three card, the um, Three of Cups uh, celebrations. So, all good. You can make this happen. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.